Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing. Uh, today, <laughs> I'm unboxing three more of the, I believe these are Wave 2, part of Wave 2 of the Series 1 uh, Off the Hook dolls. I did vow to not get any more of these, because I did have all six of the characters, but these went on a super clearance um, at Walmart, and I just had to take a look, and... Um, I saw something about each and one of them that made me that was eye appealing, and, and for the price, I couldn't help myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a little bit of a lowdown on these characters. So this is Vivian. Our first one is Vivian. Um, she is from the the Spring Dance Collection. Uh, those of you who didn't watch the other reviews that we did on Off the Hook Dolls, they you open it up from the top. And this is a cool little thing that hangs here. You open it up from the top, you get a blind bag on the top, and you get a blind bag on the bottom, and they'll be like it'll be like a separate piece, so you got a top and a bottom uh, to an outfit. Uh let's see. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open her up and uh, we'll see what the surprises we got in here. So here's our top prize. Here is the um, customer service information in case you something happens and something goes wrong with your product, which they're never, nothing ever does happen with Spin Masters, but it's good that, to know that they're there. Um, I think we have a poster. There's a checklist and a poster. Or direction sheet, I can't remember. It's been a while since I opened these up. Okay. This is an instruction uh, sheet that tells you all the different things. Uh, we know her hair comes off, her head comes off, her torso comes off, and then her feet come off. And they're all attached by these swivelly hooks that are actually articulated. I think these are really cool, different dolls that... I guess you want to call them mini dolls. I hate that term, but they're mini dolls. Because they have articulation, but they're not... Okay, so here's our checklist. I'm going to open up here. There is a lot of things to collect. I don't know if they ever came out with blind bags without the girls, but here is all the different things you can collect and uh, mix and match. So you can, like, pretty much... Everybody's wig will fit on everybody's head, everybody's torso will fit on everybody's bottom half, and then there's shoes that you can collect, and then there's... Here's all the girls in the back. I believe... Oh, so... Yeah, there's six girls. There's Vivian. Um, Naya. Jenny. Brooklyn. Alexis. And... Mila. And I don't think that all of them have, is there three different categories? Summer vacay, concert, spring, spring dance. I think there is a three different categories. There's some, some girls have multiple looks for multiple categories and there are like double packs you can get. I never really got the double packs, but okay. And then here's our bottom half. Let's uh, go ahead and get our girl out of the box here. Okay, so we have Vivian out of her box here. Um, as I said, they got they got quite a, a quite a lot of articulation for the small dolls they have. Uh, you can move their heads back and forth and up and down. Um, their arms go back. Um, their arms do not move, but their waist uh, moves around and back and forth. So you can swivel that, and you can almost make them sit, but not quite. So they do have restricted articulation. But um, it's there, so it's pretty cool. And then, uh, let's see. So let's actually take a look at Vivian herself. She did come with an accessory. She came with a lavender headband with a starfish on top of it. So that's pretty cool. And then she has this really cool hair that's done in braids. Now, it is a molded hairpiece, but uh, you can see all the little Rastafarian braids that kind of wrap up and around here into like a ponytail in the back and then it's dipped in the um in matching 
pink sparkles. So um, her head, her hair does come off. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, she has a pink top with more pink, pinkish, or I guess purple. Yeah, more like a purple sparkle, and it's coming off my finger. So it's, it's not, it's glued on there, but it's not on there very well. And then she has a metallic purple skirt that wraps around. It's molded as well. And then she has um, white sparkle tights. And these cute pink boots with um, metallic silver accents for the zipper. So overall, I mean, she's pretty cute. Uh, she does have a dark complexion. Her, her eyelashes are long but painted on. And she has um, like a olive colored eye that looks up into the left. And her eyebrows are the same color as her hair. So went all around with that review. I'm sorry about that. But also just for your FYI uh, here. So I can get it to focus. Here she is without her wig on. So she has painted molded on hair. So a little bit of a malfunction with the headband here. It's a little bit too big for her without her wig. And a little bit too big or small for the, to go over the wig. Uh, it's, it does stretch the plastic out a lot and it's actually um, stressing the plastic. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think she looks really good without it anyway. So that's how she's going to probably stay in display. Um, let's go ahead and see what she got for her her fashion pack. So I think this is going to be the top part. Maybe. Okay, so here's our top. That is pretty cute. You can see that it's a painted on white shirt um, with painted on pink ruffles around the, the, the sleeves and the collar line. And you can see that it has the kind of rosette texture to it. And then we also have her bottom half, which she has leggings that are light pink. And they have dark pink stars all over them. And then she has this cute little frilly skirt that's pink with pink sparkles. I kind of like this outfit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this outfit on her and see what she looks like on this outfit. Okay. So I do like this outfit a lot. I do like this outfit a lot better than the one that she came in. Unfortunately, her shoes do not latch on enough to be able to keep this outfit on her. So she's going to have to go back to her regular outfit. It's a shame. I guess these shoes don't fit with this mold. Or I just happen to get a reject bottom part. Um, either way, I'm going to switch her back. Well, I decided to leave the top on that she got as a mystery top. Um, and matched it with the skirt and the tights. And that's going to be good. Because these, these shoes stay on this part. So I'm going to put her aside. So that's Vivian. Unfortunately, these dolls don't come with stands. And you can't get stands for them. There is a playset that came out. I don't know. I haven't actually seen it in stores. I don't know if it's an online exclusive or what. But there is a playset where you can hang all the clothes and stuff. And I don't know if it comes with little, like, um... Because the bottom of their shoes have little holes in them that indicate they could be stood somewhere. So I don't know if you can do that with them or not. But, um... So our next girl is from the Summer Vacay. And this is Alex. Let's get her opened up. I just wanted to make a note before I open her completely up. Um, they're both from the Summer Vacay uh, series, and the boxes on the inside are different a little bit. See how the bags on this side are um, purple, yellow, and green, and here they're like a light purple, yellow, and a dark purple. And then over here there's a, um, an orange, and then it has a bunch of different fruit. And then over here there's their signs actually are different, so a lot of different details went into their boxes and I'm impressed. Of course, like I said, it it is Spin Master, so. And here is Alexis, Summer Vacay, out of her box. She is very cherried out. She's got um, an ombre effect in her hair with two little buns that goes from um, like a dark orange to a light orange, and then she has cherries on each side of her buns. Her hair does come off. Um, it looks the same as the other one. Um, with I'll, I'll actually show it to you in a little bit how it comes off. Uh, she has a cute um, 
hot orange or neon orange top that has some rick racks in it that are painted white she has bangle bracelets on and she's given the peace sign with uh this type of pose and she also has wait for it a fabric skirt yeah some of the girls from this line did have fabric skirts so um and this particular one is white with cherries all over it i love it and then underneath she's wearing some shorts they're just i guess supposed to be like a a jean short that have um white detail work on the pockets and then some of the snaps she has long uh, uh i guess tall they're not really so much knee-high socks but yeah you get the picture that are white and blue striped and then she has these really cute shoes that are red with a dark blue base and they got like a cherry top on them so i really like this one i'm glad i was able to pick her up she does have blue eyes her blue eyes look um to the right and they're a really light blue they're really pretty and stunning her is she wearing eyeshadow no she's not wearing eyeshadow she does have um a little bit of liner on and her eyebrows are the same color as the top color part of her hair so let's take a look at her without her hair actually listen let me show you her sunglasses that she also came with these are um, transparent blue. I don't know how they're... They probably will go on her if she's not wearing her wig. Let's see. She actually looks really cute and goofy in these sunglasses because they are huge for her face, but they work. They work, you just can't use her wig. So let's see what she came with for her surprises. So here is her bottom half. So her bottom half is uh, ombre type blue that goes, goes to a light blue to a little bit of a darker blue uh, skirt that has those little um, flower bud designs on it like our previous girl did Vivian um, on her top and then we have pink uh, tights for the bottom and then our top part this, this is really cool uh, different different pose than we've seen so far in this video She's wearing a, um, a short sleeve jacket that's made up of neon orange, neon pink, and neon blue. And then she also has um, fingerless gloves on that are striped with blue and light blue. So pretty cool. Oh no, they're blue and orange. Sorry. So let's go ahead and put this outfit on her and see how she looks. So here she is in her outfit. I honestly am not a fan of this pose for the, uh, but I think I've said it before. I think I actually just said it a little bit. I'm not a fan of this pose because she can't stand up and they don't have with stands. Um, I also don't really like these shoes with this outfit. Um, I am going to pass and put her back in the outfit she came in because Cherry isn't super cute. I'll be right back, guys. I'm telling you, if I pull out one of these... For an extra outfit, they're going on her, so she'll stand. <laughs> Just saying. So our last girl we have for today, this is um, Nalia? Nala? Naya? Naya? I say Naya. If I'm wrong, someone correct me in the bottom of the comments, but I think it's Naya. So I'm going to open up this, get her top one, this, get her bo bottom one, and then I'm going to open her up and I'll show you what she looks like. So here she is, guys, outside of her box. How gorgeous is she? She's one of one of my favorite ones, I believe. Uh, this hat is does come off. It is um, dark pink with purple, like an indigo blue purple around the um, hat edges. And then we have a little bit of a light pink seashell on top. Her hair is ombre, so it goes from that blue color you see, like that sea blue color, down to a pink. And then it, it's like um, a little bit, it's, I wouldn't say it's shoulder length. I think it's a little bit shorter than that. Yeah, I'd say shoulder length. And then it's kind of waved out to like a curl. It's a really pretty hairstyle. If you take it off, she's got that sea blue green uh, molded on hair that's painted on her head. She has like a pink complexion. Um, really pink. And we have... Um, violet eyes that look up and into the right eyebrows and eyeliner match her hair color her top 
is this really pretty off the shoulder periwinkle and white um, dressy top. She does have some painted on, painted molded on bangles that are periwinkle and orange. She is also wearing um, a tulle, like ballerina type skirt. If you lift that up a little bit, she has a matching skirt that matches the top of the the top. I don't know if it's a skirt or if it's considered a dress. I think it, I think it's more like a dress. And then she also has these really cute um, sandals that are pink that wrap around the ankles, and they're also fall off pretty easy. But they're a transparent uh, bluish purple that have sparkles that are embedded into them. Now, for the record, her hat does not fit her head without her wig on. It's too big. Let's see what she got for accessories here. Here is, I think, her bottoms. Ooh. Straight leg. But the straight leg is um, very particular to this girl because um, Naya is that, like I said, she's got that purplish pink complexion that you can't really put it on other girls. But um, any, anyhow, <laughs> she has the, these rolled up capris that look like they're supposed to be jean material. But they're white and they have black rick racks on them. And then she has the teal shirt that's tied around the waist. That is really cute. I can't wait to put that on her. Let's see what we have for our other bag. And this is our top. Oh, that's cute, too. So, um, the top has a seashell necklace that's red. And a spaghetti strap shirt that's got pink and white in it. And then in the middle of it, it's got a red bow. Uh, she also is wearing, this top part also is wearing two bangle bracelets. One that's dark blue on one side, and one that's light aqua on the other side. So let's go ahead and change her into this outfit. So here she is in this outfit. I can't really say I'm a fan of these shoes or this top with these pants, but I do like these pants. Um, hmm. There really is no other option, though, unless I want to break up the other outfit. Which I could. Hmm. But we're still running into the problem where I don't like the shoes with the pants. But I like the pants because of the pose of them. So, grr. <laughs> Either way... All right, so we got her to stand. I like that. Either way, um, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know if you guys have gotten any off the hook dolls, if you like these dolls, if you don't like these dolls, if you're hoping for another series, um, comment below. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.